Okay. I don't care what anyone says. Hold on. Alright, I don't care what anyone says. Francis Sangana should have won that fight. Alright, I mean, come on. I just... Okay, I didn't watch the fight live. Um, guys, I, I didn't watch it. You know, I, I wasn't even... Wa you know, I didn't pay for the fight or anything like that. I didn't... I, I tried to stream it illegally or whatever. I was out doing something else. Alright? But... As the fight was happening. But I rewatched the fight. I thought Ngannou should have won. That was... Like... You know, it wasn't necessarily, like, the biggest robbery or whatever, but... I mean, like, you could make a case for it being a robbery. You know, and look, I'm, I don't want this video to be like, oh, I'm, I'm trashing Tyson Fury, whatever. You know? Because, look, I'll give... In Tyson Fury's defense, I do think that, you know, he... Going into the fight, I don't think he took Nganu too seriously. And another thing, the weight... I think he, like, was 300 pounds or something. I don't know. Like, look, I, was, I wasn't really following the build-up to this fight too much. You know what I mean? Just because I don't really care. You know, I, I just didn't care too much to pay uh, any attention to it, you know. But it, it looked like he was almost 300 pounds in that ring. So, I mean, clearly he was a lot slower than usual and, and all that stuff. And it looked like he wasn't really taking Ganu seriously. So that's in Fury's defense. But regardless, I still thought he, he lost the fight. I thought and I thought Ngannou won. For my scorecard, it was 97 to 92. I thought... I thought Ngannou won seven rounds uh, to three, and I thought he, you know, uh, he obviously he scored the knockdown, which was the biggest shocker of the night, But he's and he still did it, you know, so regardless of if Fury came in heavy or if he didn't take Ngannou seriously, look, do I think that Uzik's, um, excuse me, do I think that Uzik fight will play out like that, or do I think Uzik's gonna like, oh yeah, Ngannou beat Fury, so Uzik's gonna school him, no, I think Fury's gonna take Uzik a lot more seriously but in terms of this fight it's like what's it, it's just it, it just seems like they had the the fight um you know kind of like they knew who was gonna who was who the winner was before they even started I mean that was just it's it's like I don't know I, I'm I'm kind of confused why they gave that to Fury you know I mean even if you had it a draw even if it was, if it was like five rounds to five Ngannou still should have won because he got the knockdown I don't know, it's just kind of strange in my opinion that this is the result. But, look, this isn't ha this isn't the first time this has happened. You know, because Fury, when he fought John McDermott, that was a clear win for John McDermott in the first fight. Although Fury did come back in, his, in the second fight. Um, excuse me, in his defense. Come on, man. Like, <laughs> you know, it's like... I thought Ngannou clearly won. I mean, look, I've only watched the fight once, but, I mean, it wasn't like... And Fury did land some decent shots at times, but it was clear that Ngannou, he, he definitely had Fury rocked in that eighth round, and he knocked him down in the third round. And, and the other rounds, I mean, yeah, they were kind of like trying to box each other and whatever. But I still thought Ngannou was landing the harder shots. I thought it was clear the the, the shot, uh, the excuse me, the punch, you know, what do you call it, the shots that each guy were landing were like it was different from each for each guy. Because I thought Ngannou, like I said, his shots were a lot harder than... Fury's, in my opinion. Fury was winning the fight later on, but it's not like he was dominating Ngannou. It wasn't like he was about to, he was on the verge of knocking Ngannou out. And listen, had this fight gone 12 rounds, it, had it been a 12-round fight, say, you know, um, what is it that uh, Fury, you know, would have, I don't know, like, schooled him in the last two rounds or whatever. It's still a nine to, uh, or excuse me, seven to five rounds for Ngannou with the knockdown, right? So it's just, I don't know. Like, I'm just like, come on, man. What? They did Ngannou like this, like, and the thing is, like, I'm a fan of Ngannou and I didn't, you know, him like taking this fight and, you know, the whole thing, like the whole, I don't know, what do you call it? Notion that was going to be afterwards of like, oh, he just knocked out the greatest MMA fighter or the hardest puncher in MMA, all that stuff. You know, I, I wanted Ngannou to win, you know, because I, I'm really a fan of this guy. In the, uh, well, I was a fan of this guy when he was fighting in the UFC, right? And I actually picked, the, you know, when a lot of people were picking picking Stipe Miocic to win in that rematch, I picked him to win, you know, in this fight. I didn't think he could do it, you know, against Fury. But he proved a lot of us wrong. He, pro he proved that he can box. So congrats to Go Francis Ngannou, you know? Look, I don't know. I in, I don't know, man. In my opinion, this is a clear win for Ngannou. Look, even if it was seven to five rounds, like, 
Ngannou, uh, or excuse me, even if it was 12 rounds and Fury won the last two against Ngannou, in my opinion, it's still a win for Ngannou, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is, but uh, I just want to say congratulations to Francis Ngannou for taking the fight and for winning, in my opinion. You know, he, he may not, excuse me, he may not have won officially, but in my eyes, he won universally, so that's, you know, what matters to me. But, um, you know, with Fury, look, I'm not going to, this isn't like a video trashing Fury or whatever. I'm not going to, you know, say, oh, Fury's trash. Now, look, do I, I, like I said, I think Fury would take Uzik a lot more seriously. So I'm not going to say, oh my goodness, yeah, look, imagine what Uzik would do. You know, and he's probably going to come in a lot lighter if he fights Uzik. I, I say if, because I, I still don't know if the fight's going to happen yet. They say it's signed or whatever, but I mean, like, is it official? I have no idea. But anyway, those are my thoughts on the fight. Let me know, guys, if you want to see, uh, I don't know, another video like this in the future. If you want me to talk more about the Nganu vs. Fury fight. I might watch the fight again, I don't know. But just from scoring it the first time around, I, I thought it was clear that Nganu took it. You know, I didn't think... I think maybe Fury landed slightly more punches. But even then, like, I still thought Nganu had a lot more weight behind his punches. And a lot more power behind his punches, so... That's that, but anyway, um, you guys let me know what you think of, thought of this fight. This is just a quick video, um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, regardless, like, you know, respect to both for, you know, going in the ring and stuff, but I just, <laughs> it's like, I don't know, just because I'm an Nganu fan, I'm just like, come on, dude, you know, but, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, let me know what you guys, uh, thought of the fight, who do you think won, and, um, yeah, that's that. Anyway, I'm gonna go now, um, hope you guys have a good day, night, wherever you are. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next one. Take care and peace.